This is the Coca-Cola Company 2014 proxy statement. It's a public document. It's been distributed to shareholders. It's out you know, available to anybody who wants to see it. And we at Wintergreen Advisors are shareholders on behalf of clients in the Coca-Cola Company. So we care deeply. On page 84 is the new proposed Coca-Cola equity plan. On page 86, it lays out the effect of this plan. And this is an official document, and it shows that there will be 14.2% dilution if this plan and the existing plans are enacted. The existing plans are in place, so the new plan plus the old plan gets you to 14.2%. If you take 14.2%, multiply it by 4.4 billion shares, which is the number of shares outstanding that the Coca-Cola company has today, times $38.5 per share, which is the stock price, give or take, on March 21st, 2014. You do that, those numbers, and you come up with $24 billion. So what that means is that the Coca-Cola company, with this new plan, is suggesting to shareholders, or soliciting their vote, that $24 billion over the next four years is an appropriate level of compensation to transfer from the shareholders' pockets to management. $24 billion is a lot of money. $24 billion is a lot of money by anybody's standards. The Coca-Cola company is an American icon, one of the greatest companies in history. It's widely owned by teachers and nurses, people who work for unions. It's in savings plans, pension plans. Hardworking Americans own Coca-Cola and depend on Coca-Cola. There's a vote coming up and Wintergreen is going to vote against this plan. We think it's wrong. Giving $24 billion to management, we think it's excessive. By having more shares outstanding, there's less value per share. We're interested in more value per share. Wintergreen has written a letter to the Coca-Cola board expressing our concerns and objecting to this, what we believe, outrageous grab of $24 billion. There's no cost to management. There are criteria but it's $24 billion. The Coca-Cola company proposed 2014 equity plan is a raw deal for Coca-Cola shareholders. Coca-Cola shareholders are the owners of the company, not the management. Management works for the shareholders. Wintergreen has also written a letter to Warren Buffett, who's the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway owns 9.1% of the Coca-Cola company. We cannot see why this Coca-Cola equity plan is in the best interest of Coca-Cola shareholders or Berkshire Hathaway shareholders. Wintergreen Advisors, on behalf of its clients, is a shareholder in both the Coca-Cola company and Berkshire Hathaway. They're important investor investments for us. And we are very concerned about what's going on at the Coca-Cola company in this year's proxy state.